Hi, my name is Skylar Ramirez. Welcome to our meditation and mindfulness session today. We have been exploring a lot of different breathing techniques and different movements in the stomach, even hand gestures in an effort to work on detoxing the body, working on a little bit of spring cleaning. So we are going to continue with that theme. And what's interesting is as we begin to detox and as we begin to maybe bring things up or move things out, sometimes that can create a little bit of anxiety or nervous energy. Um, what do we do with the stuff that we've discovered? What do we do without the stuff that we've taken out? And it could be mental stuff. It could be new habits that we're attempting to replace. So anytime we're making that shift or making that change and we are attempting to clean up our lives, sometimes we can experience a little bit of discomfort. So today we're going to work on calming the nervous system in the midst of change, in the midst of our spring cleaning. How do we regroup reorganize and reframe the energies. So we are moving first through a breathing technique called Anu Loma Krama. Anu Loma Krama. This is a breathing technique. It's another type of a stair-stepping breath that involves a bunch of small inhalations and one exhale. The exhale is not forced. The exhale is very calm, very passive with the stomach. You do want to pull the belly muscles in at the end of that exhale to ensure that we are able to really empty the entire lungs to make use of the lung capacity with the stair-stepping breath. So I'm going to demonstrate it once and it's anywhere from seven to 10 really small inhales. It's almost like you're sipping in the breath, little sips of breath, and then you'll have one long exhale. So it always starts with a big exhale. And then it looks like this. Now, this technique is very similar or it is replicating a natural body response. It's a body response that our nervous system uses to regulate or to recalibrate the nervous system after we've had some sort of an emotional disturbance. So it almost feels like the same thing the body does after we've had a really good cry, after a really big emotional out, out, um, outpouring where maybe you're releasing, sobbing, grieving. So this is the same body movement that is used. The body will naturally do this in an effort to regulate the nervous system. So we are just basically attempting to be proactive in that regulation of the nerve, nervous system by doing this technique. We're going to do five of them, seven to 10 quick inhales, one big sigh. We're only going to do about five of them. Exhale all the way first. And let's begin. Quick inhales. Exhale. Again, quick inhale. Exhale. Again. Hold it. Big exhale. Notice your body will start to hold longer after the inhale. We have two more. Option to hold. At least one more. Option to hold. And now exhale. So as we continue to work with calming and recalibrating the nervous system, lower your head, go ahead and roll over to your left ear along the cheek line, open up the right side of your throat, turn your right palm up and pull that right elbow back in towards your waistline, pressing the shoulder away from the ear, maybe even taking your right hand and angling it out to the side, releasing any tension that might be pent up on the inner ears, through the neck, even into the shoulders. Bring your hand forward and now lower the hand down onto your lap. Let's bow our chin, roll over along the right cheek line, jaw line, hold the right ear over to the right shoulder, 
press the left shoulder away. Let's turn the left palm up, draw the hand back toward your waistline, press that shoulder down again. From here, take your left hand out to the side. It's as if you're holding a serving tray out to the left side while your head goes over to the right. Soften through the neck, the upper back, the shoulders, even the insides of the ears and your jaw. When you're ready, bring the hand to center. Bring the head to neutral. Let's take both hands in. Turn the palms down just for a moment. Shift forward, pull up your ribs and look up at the sky. Look up with your eyes, shifting your gaze up as far as the eyes will go from the wall to the ceiling, maybe all the way up to the ceiling. When you're ready, bring the head forward. With the chin neutral, only shift your eyes to the left temple. Shifting the eyes to the left, noticing if there's any tension behind that shift and maybe putting a little less effort into that. Take your eyes to neutral. Shift the eyes only to the right temple. As the gaze goes towards the right temple, noticing any tension, any excessive effort or physical investment, and simply attempting to shift the gaze without stressing out or creating tension in the eyes. Let's bring the gaze to neutral, looking down and bringing the head down, turning the palms up, moving into an easy three-part breath. Inhale into the nose, fill your belly, let the breath rise through your ribs, and now lift your heart and fill the chest. As we exhale from the throat, relax your heart, your ribs, and then your belly. Let's roll into the next breath. Inhale, belly, ribs, heart, open the throat. Exhale like you're fogging a mirror. <sighs> Two more like that. Inhaling down to the belly, through the ribs, to the center of the chest. Exhale, round your throat. <sighs> One more, inhaling belly, ribs, chest, pause. Exhaling from the throat. Now take a moment and maybe start to create a feeling of warmth in the palm of your right hand, feeling very warm even sensing that this warmth is moving to the tips of your fingertips. We may even want to curl the fingers in, wiggle the thumb, warmth in the tip of the thumb, wiggle your index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky finger, sending sensations of warmth to the tips of all your fingers and into the palm of the hand feeling as if you are holding on to a warm gold orb of light, or maybe even give the energy a little bit of weight, as if you have been holding on to a large, warm river stone. Now shift awareness into the left hand, invoking a sensation of lightness and coolness feeling a chill in the palm of the left hand and allowing this cool energy to radiate out to the tips of your fingertips. Wiggle the thumb, recruiting that cool presence of energy. And now the other fingers wiggle, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky finger, the whole left hand, fingertips and palm feeling very cool as if you're holding on to a warm blue orb of light. This orb of light, cooling energy in the left palm of the hand, warm energy in the right hand. Now, as we inhale and exhale, breathe into the right palm of your hand, sensing warm energy, and then exhale out the left palm of the hand, sensing a coolness that leaves out the left side. Inhaling warm on the right, exhaling cool on the left. It's 
sensing that we're able to pass that energy over from the right to the left. And in that transition, the energy goes from warm to cold. Still passing the energy from right to left, warm to cold. Let's encourage these energy channels to pass through the heart. Breathing into the palm of the right hand, warm breath, warm energy. Feel it move up your right arm and into the center of the chest. Pause at the top of the breath, sensing that the air is already cooling in the heart springs. And as we exhale, we release this cool blue light out from the heart, out the left arm, out the palm of the left hand. Inhaling, receiving warm energy in through the palm of the right hand, up the arm to the center of the chest. Exhale, letting go of cool energy, cold blue light out your left arm and out the left hand. Continue with this patterned breath choreographing each inhale and each exhale to match up with the presence of warm and cold. Inhale warm, exhale cold. Let's try this for the next three to five quiet breaths. Now simply pause and sense that now you receive the warm breath through the back of your heart, becoming aware of that space between your shoulder blades, directly behind the heart, feeling as if warm gold light approaches through the back of our body, absorbed by the heart as we inhale. And as we exhale, this energy splits disperses out through the shoulders, down both arms and out both hands. Inhaling, absorbing gold light through the back of your heart. Exhaling, cool blue light, moving down the arms, out your hands, out your fingertips. Inhaling, absorbing an energy that is heavy, grounding, safe. Exhaling, releasing the energies that are light and airy, energies that could also have an anxious characteristic to them. Inhaling, warm, grounded, secure. Exhaling, anxieties, fear, drama, Now simply affirm in the practice, affirm to yourself, I am open. And then refine this, personalize it for whatever it is that you may want to bring into your life, into your daily routine. I am open to more peace, stillness. I am open to more safety, more security. I am open to more organization, more time, more self-care. Simply affirming that we have made the space to receive as we are open to these things.
Let's bring our hands up away from the lap. Turn the palms out and hook your thumbs together, keeping the palms open. This is a hand gesture known as Garud Amudra, Garuda Mudra. It's a gesture of an eagle. So it's like the eagle's wings fanning out with our hands, taking a moment to embody the characteristics, the spirit of an eagle, its majesty and valor. Sitting tall, drawing in a few deep inhales and bigger exhales. Pulling on the thumb so that we feel just a bit of tension. From here, we'll press the palms together and press the thumbs to the center of the chest. Holding here with our seal of physical reverence, allowing this gesture to ultimately symbolize our commitment to our own self-care and optimal wellness. Let's draw in a deep breath together, exhale with a sigh. And from here, we can close together with a bow. Namaste. Enjoy the rest of your beautiful day. I will see you next time.